long time no vlog or do any kinds of videos classes have got me really really tied up like this is no drug but today's vlog we have soccer time we are going to a soccer game and no i am not a big fan of like any kinds of sports or music music or musicians but i do like going to these events just because it gives you something to do and i think they're kind of fun expensive but fun but some of these people like especially for soccer like these people be going crazy like i don't know how they spend all that money on stuff for their favorite teams but i guess it is what it is it's pride i mean look at this guy like this truck right here like how the hell do you deck that shit out like excuse my language but he must have spent thousands of dollars on that and look at all the time all these people are waiting in line like i can't do that like every weekend no 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 like uh i got lucky because we got here early and i got lost and i got to go in line but uh, yeah i didn't have much time waiting time so it was all good but yeah overall this place was pretty good i mean they had good security they had metal detectors you couldn't bring in bags unless it was like a clear transparent bag and you know you have your cops patrolling so it was pretty good you have your merchants selling their merchandise you know in case you forgot your pride uh merch and you have your hot dogs in case you want to get something cheap to eat before and after the game so dignity health sports park is where we're at which was used to be the home depot center and the tickets which i got weren't all that like up in the air like like what do you call it nosebleed seats but yeah they were up there but they were like 250 dollars those are like one of the cheapest ones i found besides like a green patch of grass that you can sit on but yeah you can see like all these people they have like even a band and they play their own like pride music like wow it's, it's amazing but we gotta get our munch on so you know they have the typical churros popcorn soda nachos and i I can't believe I saw like Buffalo Wild Wings here like I was surprised so you know we had to stop by and get ourselves some wings but I had to get them churro I hear the wings are eh the popcorn the soda and of course the nachos which I hate it when they put in this stupid little bag like did you give you so little and they charge you so much but yeah it is 00510 the game was supposed to start at five o'clock but i guess we're running a little bit late so i guess they're still prepping the, the field you know watering it everybody's over here training it oh my gosh look here comes the team atlas 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 at so yeah in case you didn't notice it's atlas versus cruz azul so and we are representing the atlas team the you know they're they're, they're they're like what they call the underdogs they just recently won like two uh i think it was mexican league champions like i don't even know like what they've won but you know i'm just here to support my daddy so here comes the other teams dolis cruz azul is the other team which of course they have a more fan base and they've won more championships so basically what this game is actually as you saw earlier was um torneo de uh campeones o it's like basically champions versus champions to see who is the best because I guess Cruz Azul was the previous champions for like I don't know how many years and Atlas has been the champion for like the last two years but because of you know the COVID uh, they had to postpone the game so they weren't able to uh, you know do them I think it was 2020 so this is what it is it's basically the match and here you have the referees you know warming up and I can't really believe they actually had a girl like in a professional like match like you know that's pretty cool like everybody just gets along you know they get the same uh, respect get the same treatment which is pretty cool so that was nice to see and of course as the hours went on and the game like slowly grew closer together you saw all the fans kind of getting in together and we have to do the wave like oh, i love the wave like you know putting on queen and and you know i don't know the name of the song like buddy of an old man <laughs> you know that song <laughs> but yeah you know do the wave and doing to that song just gets your blood pumping and gets you going so that was that was pretty fun although some people didn't get it you know you have to try like 20 times before you actually get like a good wave going but yeah you know you can see some ball seats right there but this place actually got pretty packed so as we go, the game is starting. Cruz Azul versus Atlas, champions of champions. There we go, that's what it was called, champion of champions. I don't know, but yeah, it was a pretty good game. 43 minutes, you know, Atlas scored a goal. Then 45 minutes, Cruz Azul scored another goal to tie it up. But 
you know, Atlas has their pride showing, so they had to throw those gas things, which really stank, it's like burning, but hey, you know, you gotta show, show your colors since that's all we got since we don't have a band like this. I think they have two bands actually, one on each side, but it's pretty cool, but must have been pretty expensive to get all those people with all those instruments in there, but hey, you know. So, you know, you got your game going, got your penalties going. You know, they're getting rough on the tumble because they keep matching up to get the points. But, you know, at the end of the day, we gotta fight for the right to be the champions. So, it was it was a pretty good game overall. Like, it, was, it wasn't like, at all boring or at all, like, slowed down. It was... It was a pretty decent game. Like you definitely got your money's worth. I would, I would believe. So, if you didn't notice, they're just like kind of rolling around with the game, you know, playing different. It wasn't a lot of fouls. It was, it was a couple, but 63 minutes, Cruz Azul had to score, and then at the very end, Atlas scored two to two for a tie. So you know what that means. We have penalties and penalties are basically when five members of each team kind of go at it, like in a shootout. So they got to give it their all to see who gets the win. So Cruz Azul of course went first. I don't know why because they were the champions where I think it was a coin toss. But yes, they win going first. 1-2-0 Cruz Azul. Atlas went up next and I honestly don't know all these team players names but I think if you listen carefully you can kind of hear their names being called out. But yes, he scores and we have Cruz Azul Atlas 1-2-1. One, one. So four more. Players after he's going, oh, I'm sorry, I'm like, oh, it's kind of dry. And Cruz Azul again, and he misses. So we got a chance here. We got, we got a chance. We got pizza. So Atlas up for next. He shoots, and he misses also. Like, what are the odds? Like, but you can't understand. I got the pressure. Cruz Azul scores. So that makes it Cruz Azul two. Atlas one. Atlas on the third player. He shoots. And he makes it! So Cruz Azul is tied once again. Cruz Azul is in that last two to two! Now we hear the fourth and three to two. Cruz Azul, three to two. Now we're down to the fourth player from Atlas. And he shoots. I know I did in slow motion, but he shoots. He scores! Three to three, Atlas! Ah. Last player from Cruz Azul. He shoots. He scores 4 to 0. Now we have the last player out of 5. 5 out of 5. He shoots and no! He misses it! Like the deception. Cruz Azul wins. Wow! But oh well. I mean, I guess they still have the regular championship and Cruz Azul gets the champion of champion trophy. But it is what it is, they will have another match, you know, no bad blood, everybody was just, and now of course, this would have like a bigger fan base, so they were like cheering all the way through, so, at last, we're proud of you, you played a good game, you know, they're just setting up now for the trophy ceremony, which I, I sat through because I'm, I'm like, Unlike other people, I don't like leaving like right as it ends because there's so much traffic like once you leave uh, any kind of event. So I'd rather kind of just stay into the end when most of the like angsty people or the people with kids like have already gone into their cars and are already like leaving the parking lot. So that way, number one, it's easier to find my car because I never remember where I park. And number two, it's just less traffic that way, like, I don't know. But I'd rather always stay, like, until the end of, of things. And I always used to get to see, like, this, you know, like, the, like, the whole, um, what do you call it, like, taping of the team, you know, getting their medals for winning, and then also the, the, the trophy, how it's presented to them and the teammates and how they take, like, their, you know, team pictures. But, yeah, I can't complain. Cruz Azul won. But Atlas will always be the best in my heart. And yeah, it's just because my dad likes it too. But yeah, bye!